Yeah, this is question number six. It says a large tank is partially filled with 100 gallons of fluid in which 10 pounds of salt is dissolved. Now, brine, brine, which is a solution of salt and water containing half pound of salt per gallon, is pumped into the tank at a rate of 6 gallons per minute. Now, we're told that the well mixed solution is then pumped out at a slower rate. Now, we solved a couple of questions like this, but then the one we solved, the rate at which it was entering the tank is the same as the rate at which it was leaving the tank. So, the net the net rate of um, salt or brine in the tank was constant, was, was actually zero, so it was not increasing, neither was it decreasing. But this is a different question. And the question here, the rate at which the brine is entering the tank is actually more than the rate at which it is leaving the tank. So that simply implies that the net rate or the net amount of uh, solution in the tank is actually increasing is increasing as the time as the time increases so this is a different kind of question but it is not too different from the way we actually solved the previous one when we had equal rate anyway we're told to find the number of pounds of salt in the tank after 30 minutes now to start i usually like to draw diagrams to depict um what is actually going on in there so from what we have there, assuming this is a large tank, maybe this is a large tank here. This is a large tank. And then we're told that a particular tank pumps in so one pumps in and then another one pumps, another one pumps out. So this pumps in, this pumps out. Now, and then we're told that, so if, let's assume that this is, is the solution here. Now what we know is, this tank here contains 100 gallons of fluid. So it contains 100 gallons. And then in these 100 gallons, we have 10 pounds of salt there. So these 100 gallons contains, contains 10 pounds, 10 pounds of salt. Then brine containing half pound of salt per gallon, which is the concentration of salt in the brine entering the tank is 0 0.0.5. So the concentration, the concentration of salt entering, entering the tank equals 0 0.5. And then it is pumped at this rate. So the rate, the pump in rate, which I'm going to call pump, pump in, pump in rate. We're told that this equals six gallon per minute. Six gallon per per minute. Or oh, this is um, 0 0.5 pounds of salt per gallon. So this is what we have for that entry. And then we're told that the mixed solution now is pumped out at a slower rate. So the pump out rate. The pump out rate. actually equals four gallon per per minute and then we're not told to find the number of pounds of salt in the tank after 30 minutes so this is what we want to find so find the number of pounds number of pounds of salt in the tank in the tank after 30 minutes so let me just 
let me just circle this round this is that's our main aim or what we want to find it's a very very simple and interesting question so now to start with given all this information how exactly do I wish or intend to start solving a problem the first thing is I need to know the differential equation that models the process here so what's going on here is is mixtures mixtures it's just mixtures going on here so and then I now remember I recall the differential equation that models mixtures here it's a first order differential equation so to write down the differential equation I'm gonna start by saying let let a or let a of t be the amount of salt in the tank in the tank at t or at time t at time t minute this time around based on the kind of a question we're solving at time t minute so what we know for the assumption is that the rate of change of the amount of brine in the solution equals R in minus R out. So that is the assumption we know. That is the rate of change of the salt entering minus the rate of change of um, the um, salt leaving the solution, leaving the tank anyway. Now, to find the rate, that is R in, to find R in, R in is actually measured in gallons, sorry, not gallons, in um, pounds per minute, pounds per minute. So this is in pounds per, per minute. So that is, that's what we know for R in. And then to find this, this is the same thing as LV per gallon times gallon per, per minute. Because gallon crosses gallon. So we left with LV per minute. So this is the concentration, or this is the pump in rate. And we've been given the concentration to be 0 0.5. So that's the concentration that we're given as 0 0.5 times the gallon the pump out rate which is four sorry the pump in rate which is six and then when you multiply this together you have three pounds per minute so this is the rate of change of um, the amount of salt entering the tank so the next thing is how then do you find the rate of change of that leaving the tank now this is you have to be very very careful when dealing with when dealing with this um, this kind of Problem. Now the first thing you need to note is for the in we are told that in one minute six gallons is being pumped into the tank. So that's in one minute. So what we know is, in one minute, six gallons of brine is pumped into the tank. So in T minutes, it implies that 60 gallons will be pumped in, pumped in, into the tank. But for out now, we are told that In one minute, four gallons is pumped out of the tank. So in one minute, four gallons is pumped out of the tank. So in one minute, four gallons is pumped out of the tank. So that implies that in T minutes, 40 gallons will be pumped out out of the tank. 